Hello there, this is Cookies. I have turn 43 of EA Abyssia and uh, we cast a number of spells some Lesser Horror, Infernal Breeding, a couple of Dark Knowledge casts where we found sites. I guess we found a Deep Crevasse, which is one Earth, and we found Windswept Catacombs, which is one Air, one Death, and a Death 3 Mage can enter the site and find a Storm Demon. We also put up our Dome of Flaming Death, and we had a few more battles this turn. So looks like we have a couple in the Iron Peaks, so let's go ahead and dive into those. TNG kills some PD, and then we move in and find a... No, we ping this, or our scout gets patrolled out. We find a Wall of Chariots and a bunch of Heavy Footmen. Then TNN raids some PD. Zion raids PD. TNG raids PD. Satis raids PD. TNN raids PD. TNN, oh, we can go ahead and look at the thug. So this is the Scepter of the Cleansing Flame Thug. Red Dragon Scale Mail, 16 MR, 17 Morale, 16 Protection, 20 Defense. A nice AoE one small area holy fire. Pretty cool. And killing PD, killing PD, killing PD. And looks like Albion is now pinged inside the fort against McCone. So we've got a clan chieftain and a clan scout. And we see a whole bunch of magma kids and they're, they've triggered foul vapors in the fort, which is unfortunate. But Flippers is back. He's got a new kit with a flambeau for the times three to demons because all these Albion giants are demons. All right. So what does that ping cost the cone? Nothing. Okay. Uh, additionally, we gain a bunch of unrest, lose a bunch of population. Pack of stuff. Uh, death gems. We find some death gems. We get attacked by a Alcara event indies. Alcara, yeah, Alcara event troops, more like it. I'll talk about that in just a second. Then we lose some more population. And here's the Moon Mage with some werewolves and wolves. All right. Oh, and I guess uh, Atlantis has been vanquished. So what, do, what does this all mean? So we had a global go up and it's called Lunar Potency. And what this global does is gives you a gold rebate on units that worship the moon moon mages appear and they're typically leading werewolves and wolves and i guess you also get some gem gen gold it, it does a lot of stuff but it also casts the world in darkness so if we go ahead and look at my income graph you can you can see what happened this turn even though our provinces isn't that changed Anyways, nasty global. Um, Alcara gets tons of free stuff from it. And we end up having to fight indie attacks with no money to hire new troops. So, uh, what are we doing about it? We're pitching in some gems to help out with a dispel attempt. We don't have a lot of the relevant gems, uh, water and astral, but we sent what we had, which is why we have none. And um, we'll see if that helps with the Dispel. Additionally, um, we're going to keep mirroring these two armies. So we're going to go fight on Pergamy, probably. I'm anticipating that's where they'll attack. And we're going to continue gathering forces here. So we should have a nice brand new army here to 
potentially attack Helheim with if needed, or you know, maybe just get Helheim to leave this alone. Uh, we're going to go ahead and empower this guy in blood, and that's so we can start creating the, the blood five boosters. And we're also doing fires from afar. And... Yeah, I think that's most of it. And just continuing the blood hunt. The fires from afar is aimed at here. We're hoping to kill the moon mage. Attack with the small raiding party and just route them. We'll see if it works, though. And we're also getting some more magma kit sticks. So that we can start getting... Magma kids for ourselves, because that would be nice. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, not a heck of a lot going on this turn, but next turn should be pretty busy. So I'll go ahead and see you in turn 44. Have a good one.